talking fun with Ed O. Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my fourth episode podcast of Talking Fun with Ed O. And today, I'll be talking about the full history of the Hello Project 6 artist, Chinatsu Miyoshi. And this story will have the English and Japanese subtitle. And also to make sure to check out my 60th video report about TMC. The 60th video report of TNC Bombar. The link will be down in the description below. She was born in August the 29th of 1979 in Tokyo, Japan as Chigi Rumoko. Although her childhood story is a mystery, her career began the same year as TNC Bombar on a television show very similar to Asian called Idol on Stage, or as in the original language, Idol Oseji. Her debut concert started from the live summer of live, her debut was the concert of Live Summer Night 1999 with Hello Project and Zetima. Her debut single called Unchain My Heart on the 4th of August 1999. This song was performed on the three of the Hello Project live event and she went by another name called Tani Rumoko. Her second single release called Love Yes I Do in stores on November the 10th, also used for the anime Sorceress Stabber Orphan. TNC and also Tunkun, the producer, also had a song along with the soundtrack. The second to last part of the story is the 21st century. Once again, this is where Hello Project was really growing bigger than ever with their own third television show on TV Tokyo called Hello Morning. She was also part of the theme song and released her third to last single, Anata no Shirt to Love Song. Last, last, last two shows were Garage and Idol on Stage as Hello Project's own shows. Your Shirt and a Love Song was released on the 31st of May in 2000. This song was performed on Hello Morning 10th episode, and she was in the episodes from the 1st to 13th of Hello Morning, while making this her first and last song that was written by her. Her last project on top of this is that she was in Morning Misume's second movie, Pinch Runner, as the runners on the track along with the other groups and solo artists of Hello Project besides running with her and Morning Musume. Although none of the songs have made it to the charts and has not released them as an album either, her graduation was beyond that. She just wanted to return to her regular lifestyle in the September of 2000. From this point of 2004, she has came back on a new scene in Korea by Mary Kim Jong-min. And this right here, folks, is how our story ends. Oh, and also before I leave, we have a special shout out request from William dong -si. I hope you guys enjoyed the story as much as I did. I can't really go into detail on how I first remember her because during that time of 2009 of right now presently, she was a vague memory to me. But I really do remember her work most of all on Hello Morning. But today I've learned a little bit more information than I started off with when I first uh did this or knew about her. Also, check out my interview video of the Angpei in um check out the video of the Angpei 
interviewing me. And the other inspirations I was trying to struggle from that video I was getting out of my head was James Rofile as AVGN. And of course, the people that I talk about on this channel and the original two are also my inspiration. Before I end my fourth episode special of this podcast, I gotta tell you guys some more updates coming soon. It is not just for the fifth episode, of which will be coming up very soon afterwards, but the Taiwanese group SHG Day is coming soon along with the Japanese rock band Judy and Mary Day and the report will also be coming out soon. Thank you guys for watching this episode once again. Thank you guys for following me on here and my other social platforms that I use. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.